Hi friends, welcome to the video. It's going to be slightly different this time. I'm going to show you how to make a pulley system from uh, for about 50 bucks and whatever scrap you have lying around to use with Olympic weights. If you have a squat rack, if not, you can even do it outside on the balcony or whatever. Similar principle. All right. So that's what you're gonna need. A couple lifting blocks from Harbor Freight. They're good for up to 4,000 pounds. So, I mean, unless you're Hercules, you should be okay. It'll work. And then quick links. Again, those are good for I think 400 pounds or some some 1,500 pounds. Again, more than plenty. One of those wire rope clips. Then you get wire rope. Again, this is 2,000 pound wire rope, so it's gonna be definitely more than necessary. And then some bolts of your choice this little hook so you can hook those guys up to them so that's pretty much it so it's so a fairly simple the way it's gonna work so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drill in into into my uh, rack but if you don't have a rack you could definitely use uh, possibly like a deck if you have a deck outside or whatever and you don't even have to use the weights you could use even uh, like something heavy like uh, metal Concrete, whatever. Right, dog? Alright, so our total was fifteen dollars here and thirty eight actually thirty five dollars there, but that's also including some stuff that I bought. So it's right under fifty dollars total. So uh, let's get on it and let's figure out, measure everything out and see how we can do it. Okay, so this is going to be one of the rigs we're going to use is old tire iron as you can see this actually fits perfectly in there so we're going to weld that cut 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 weights on and off easy peasy should be good doesn't really have to be pretty but as long as it's functional I mean this is good for the weights I'm gonna be lifting I mean you could probably hoist the car with this thing so now I have this old pulley from a uh, vacuum pump from a uh, square body Chevy so we're gonna all this bed by own. All right, so surface prep on the old pulley. I'm just gonna have to try to hold it as steady as I can, and then just zoom, zoom it back up. Put your plates on there, put this back up, hitch it, done, easy. Alright, so you're probably going to make a mess, so put something down there. Once you make your measurements, you want to set the guide, and then you probably would want to pre-drill first. Unless you're hardcore, and then once you pre drill a small bit, you get that. I'm getting half inch bit because that's what my bolts are, and I don't want too much slap. All right, let the drilling begin. All right, make a small hole, loosen it up, spit on it, then make a big one, and try not to get it in your eyes. You end up taking those hooks off 
and just using the polish should be fine. And nearly clears my head. Nearly. So, kind of decided to switch up setup from a little bit less ghetto uh, to a little bit better. So one thing I learned is uh, you want to have uh, like a coated uh, coated wire instead of none because it just kept flaking like crazy and you're just breathing all that shit which can be good for you and then um, somehow Amazon had one of them bad boys for like 30 bucks so I was like alright that's better than the pipe I was using so yeah it's actually set up fairly nicely works out pretty well I'll show you how it works like a couple 110 pounds or whatever on there 115 uh -uh. there's a 235 and 145 however that much is so works out pretty well please support your local animal shelters right bear bear Right, laddie.